Pretty house. Uh huh. Are you, uh, are you happy with yourself there? City house. Why? Am I not allowed to have directions today? Hello everyone. Today, I know, I have this mountain of fabric. We were going through the garage and I found a bin of fabric and I put it out there because I thought it was just going to be scraps. Well, let me tell you what. We were going through the garbage or the the bin and there was fabric that was rolled up and like kind of squished and folded and thrown in. And I found yards and yards and yards of very beautiful uh, more upholstery grade or like curtain grade fabric and even though I was excited I washed it because I pre-wash all of my fabrics I'm a little bit anal about that uh, I brought it up and then this happened and my husband said that I needed to get it under control or give it away and I so much that I want to do with it now so I'm definitely not giving it away uh, but that means that I have a little bit of time I'm giving myself two weeks to work through this mountain of fabric and get some projects done as long as I can remember I have always wanted to have my own collection of like vintage or handmade wardrobe and I wanted it to look like and reflect what I, what moods I go through from different decades and different eras and different genres and fantasy and everything that I love. I can wrap up into my own wardrobe if I make it. But I usually will get so far as the creating process. So I have a lot of really great boards on Pinterest and I have a few um, books filled with ideas. And then of course I have a mountain of fabric, not to mention the fabric that is on bolts and put away and stuff. So, now that I am pushing forward with YouTube and I've got my friends over on Instagram, I'm going to get started with this. So, um, in two weeks, it's my birthday and I think it would be great to celebrate with a wonderful uh, birthday montage of things that I made. So I'm going to start with this, a, a hobbity dress and I'm going to start with Butterick pattern 3906 if you want to sew along. I'm going to be doing the short sleeved dress and or chemise whatever you want to call it and the the vest uh, slightly under bust. I think it'll be pretty and then I have a different pattern that I want to use for the skirt and other things. I have this fabric that I want to use for the vest. I really love this fabric and I wish I had enough to make a dress or a skirt out of it. But I think a nice vest would be really great with it. And then I have this uh, linen and I think there will be enough for the chemise. I'm going to have to measure it out. But um, I completely forgot what I was saying. But if it's not, then I can do an apron or something with it. If I do an apron, which would also be pretty, I can do some embroidery on it. Maybe that's...
base is almost complete. I just have to um, do the ruffle in the bottom. I did pull out. It's a lot lighter. It's white and this is not. But I don't have any more of this to make the ruffles around the bottom. Maybe I'll just leave it like this and um, just hem the bottom then instead of such a stark contrast. Say Libby. At least I know in my mind this is a chemise and I'll be wearing things over it. Makes me feel a little better. finished putting on the lining and well, actually it uh, you know it turned out that I tried to follow the directions and not um, you know uh, cheapen my way through it by just ram stitching over everything it fits thankfully it is uh, one that I can lace up. I'll have to put the grommets in and lace it a little bit on the bloated side today, but we are good and I think it'll be super cute when completed. So that's one more thing down. <laughs> He's 11, and I have no clue where the time has gone. He had a stellar birthday. He got his fire alarms and his uh, exit signs. And okay. back to this pattern. This pattern, the Butterick 3906, kind of piratey, very. Ren Fair, when I got done with it, it looked more cottage core than it did hobbity. Super comfortable. The dress, chemise thing, very comfortable. I wore it for days and I did not feel guilty about it. The vest was super easy to make. Uh, I will say you need to make sure that you measure the shoulders on it. Well, mine were a little long and I had to safety pin them to my bra strap so they wouldn't fall over 
And then my mom really loved the vest, so I ended up giving it to my mom. Which, I mean, I guess it's not a bad thing. I have enough fabric to make another one, so it's not a bad thing. Um, but that was this one. I ended up not making a skirt for it, like I was saying about, because I liked exactly how it looked as it was. So, joining me on this journey of making some more wardrobe items. If you like the show, subscribe and like it. It gives me a little bit of a boost and helps me know what all you are looking for. I try to upload every Saturday and I am looking forward to our next adventure. We will see you uh, next week. Have fun lovelies!